This is known as a whirly gig and a man sawn wood. He better be, yeah. Yeah, he is. Grandma in her kitchen <laughs> getting ready to make cookies and she's rolling out the dough. That is so cool. Maybe if I spend it the right way, it should work better. Mm -hmm. The man that loves to do, jump across the back and forth, just give him a little squeeze and he'll jump <laughs> farther than you please. <laughs> <laughs> he was always one of my favorites, too. Okay. Here's two soldiers that fought each other at the Battle of Saratoga. One is, this one is the American soldier and this is one of the German soldiers that fought for the British. And they're dancing then, if I can find the dancing board. <laughs> oh, they do pretty well right there. Yeah, okay. Then this was based on an ancient drill the Indians used to drill holes and things, but I turned it into a little merry-go-round. Oh, it's like a top. It's a top. No, a drill. Really. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. If you had, you went to burn a hole in something or start a fire. Oh. Yeah. Clever. Mixing work and fun, huh? That's what I do. That's <laughs> now, here's a great one. There, running from the pulp mill down the Cateros Creek, the revenuers are coming, and he was running the still. So he put the whiskey in the barrel, and down the Cateros Creek to the Saratoga Lake he went. And they never did catch him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here's another whirly gig. That is Colonel Ellsworth, one of his soldiers, known as the Zavs that fought in the Civil War, and Colonel Ellsworth was the first officer to be killed in the Civil War, and he laid in state in Washington, D.C. He was a great friend of Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm. our president. Now, now here's one that Gets no longer and gets no shorter. Oh, this one's neat. <laughs> then we have half man, half dog. It flips up and down by pulling the lever. Well, you get a kid in here, you wouldn't be able to get him out. <laughs> you got one in here. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, and here's one of my favorites and one of my first toys. That run, you got to give me a chance to wind them up. I hope I'm winding them up. Yeah, come on. The crane operator, he's trying to knock that chimney down, and he isn't doing a very good job. <laughs> Come on, one more time. There we go. This is like tetherball. <laughs> oh, it's almost coffee break time. <laughs> so he's going to shut down pretty quick. Ah, he's giving a little overtime. Oh, there he is. He's all done now. <laughs> What a great toy. Well, it's funny what one rubber band can do with a little imagination. <laughs> the MacGyver of toys. Men that work together, I hope. 
But for a while I was using two rubber bands to hold the clothespin in place the way we did when we were kids. But you know what? There's hardly anybody ever remember how to load the gun. So I made a new system. I glued the, glued the uh, ammunition down. And there is a rubber band gun. Mm. And here's the target. <laughs> I better knock one over. <laughs> Quick load up. I should have had a half a dozen loaded. There you go, very effective. <laughs> a lot of patience to put together. I almost threw it in the garbage. <laughs> that actually looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, that's, that's done. Beautiful. And the next great toy that I had a lot of fun with, but it takes quite a while to load it, a tap. Ooh, that's great. That's like the battling tops. Well, I have several that I use by hand, too. But this takes a while to wind it back up, so it's in the box for the rest. This one, the little children really love at the fair. They have a great time with it. So I have to clamp it down on the bench because sometimes they get too over anxious. But oh. Oh, that is neat. Very simple, but very keeps kids happy. Yep.